Hello guys, I'm Shreya Se. I'm an educator at An Academy. You can follow me on the learning app as well. You can see my set of courses on the learning app as well. So here I'm using a fidget spinner. You can see the how the fidget spinner turns. So this is how our windmills also turn and how our wind turbines also turn. So this will be my next lesson on this platform. So please do watch this lesson and please do rate it, review it and share it and please do subscribe us on our YouTube engineering curriculum that is the An Academy engineering curriculum. So let's start with the course guys, the elements of mechanical engineering. <coughs> Hello, my name is Shreyase. I'm a B mechanical engineering student. You can find me at the Academy user platform mentioned over here. So solar power is the course we'll be doing today and the lessons will be pertain to the topic solar power. But <coughs> today's topic, the today's lesson will be also pertaining to the wind power, which is also an affiliation of the solar power. So the target audience for this slide will be engineering students, general audience who are interested in science related topics, people who are interested in environmental resources, people who are interested in knowing the involvement of natural resources. So what are the learning outcomes of this slide? Uh, I'll be discussing in detail of the windmill, the working of a windmill, the components in a windmill and the uses of the windmill to the society. <clears throat> so windmill is our lesson today. Let's start with the first set of slides. So wind power, so what is wind power basically? Wind power is the power which is generated by the uh, flowing or the movement of the wind. So usage of wind uh, to generating electricity or for other well-known purposes is known as wind power. It helps with the generation of electricity. It is ecologically the best design because it is the only uh, <coughs> power station which doesn't uh, leave out any radiations or uh, emissions. They use heavy landscape that they require a set of area for the wind power or the windmill to be set up and they increase the beauty of the nature that they increases the beauty of the nature by the windmill you can see the nature looks very beautiful. So this is the windmills you can see how beautifully they are looking so they are this <coughs> they turn when there is a heavy speed wind. And by this turning, uh, more turbines are generated and more electricity is generated. So what are the components of a windmill? The components of a windmill are as follows. <coughs> it has a foundation, uh, the tower, it has blades for the rotation of the windmill. It has tower, so where the windmill is, the wind from the turbine or the wind from the blades are actually collected up to the tower. Uh, if the tower is placed at a certain height only, the wind mill can be more efficient. And the foundation is because to protect the load or protect the strength and the, to protect the wind mills from falling down and to actually stabilize the load of the wind mill. And there is a hub where actually the wind is uh, transferred. And there is a nacelle. Nacelle is used only for uh, transferring the wind from the hub to the generator. Then there is generator where actually the electricity is generated. You can see the turbine wind, <coughs> uh, turbine blades over here and you can see this is where the hub is, this is the tower, inside the hub only you can find the nacelle as well as the generator. So turbine brake, the turbine brake is used in case of there is more wind and if the electricity generated per day is enough and then there is a gearbox for the turning of the blades in a higher rotational angle or higher rotational speed, then there is a yaw motor and divide. Then there is a wind wave which is <coughs> to uh, know the direction where the wind is actually flowing. Then there is an anemometer to find the anemic point whether the wind has some uh, disrupt effects or whether there is a uh, tornado or a volcano going to erupt. And there is a controller which controls the rotations, rotational speed of the windmill. So <coughs> the working of the windmill at first the wind turbine it gets the wind. Then from the wind turbine, the winds or the wind energy is transferred to the gearing uh, depending on the speed of the turbine. It then goes into the DC generator that is the direct current, current generator where it is passed on to the charge controllers for the good radiation of the electricity. After the good radiation of the electricity happens, it is transferred to the DC loads for the better radiation of the electricity. Then it is transferred to the battery which is used as an electric transformer for the proper distribution or the sufficient distribution of the energy to the household uh, properties. So this is how actually the wind turbines are or the wind 
uh, are so you can see they are rotating at different angles and different veins so each wind turbine they have different rotational speed and different angular speed so foundation let's start about the foundation the foundation is kept only because the wind turbine or the wind mill has to sustain a strong load and the sustained load because the wind turbine will be positioned at the same place itself so the foundation should be more because the <coughs> amount at which the wind erupts the device or the falls at the device is very high so it should withstand all the forces and the ground foundation must be very strong because the wind turbine houses nearly around <coughs> 800 to uh, thousand kgs of whole weight it should be sufficiently of huge mass because of the this weight conditions and should it should also stick into the weather conditions if the soil of the condition is not good if the land is not good or else if it is a very polluted area this might turn the foundation to be very bad and it might disrupt the whole design costing lots of money so what are the advantages of a windmill it is environmental friendly uh, it doesn't involve in the burning of fuels so no burning of fuels it actually uses less energy wind energy is actually a renewable energy so there is nothing much any man kind of manpower energy used in the windmill and it combines with any set of energy so this is another very good important characteristic of a windmill so this is what eco friendly means it is very environmental friendly so this is why i have put this design over here so these are the turbines wind turbines which are actually placed in the windmills for the better rotation of the designs and you can see the hub over here and this is the tower so what are the disadvantages of windmill so you obviously know if there are advantages then there will be certain disadvantages of well so wind unreal uh, reliability so unreliability is why because you don't know when the wind will be fast when the wind will be so there might be some days where there will be no wind and there might be some days where there will be wind so when there is wind only the wind power works so that is one of the disadvantages the wind strength so it may be high speed strength or a low speed strength and less electricity production because it depends it is very much reliable on the wind so because of this uh, if there is no wind for certain days then there will be no electricity production so it will become a stagnant waste because it's just a tower standing on there so it will be totally waste and once installed the wind mills cannot be taken out cause it will <coughs> provide a very bad very bad damage to the land area over there so it has to be placed over that space only so that space will be actually will be very waste if the windmill installed over there is of no use and more wind mills are needed to make an impact so if in one area if you place one mill it's not enough to provide electricity for the whole area you need lots of windmills to be provided or installed in the area if you need a lot of electricity to be generated for the power uh, household purposes so thank you guys any questions please you can find me at my academy user platform here and you can leave those questions in the comments also and uh, you can please do rate this course, review this course and recommend this lesson or presentation if you have liked it and please do subscribe me on my Unacademy user channel. Uh, thank you guys. Have a wonderful day.